veteran. Yeah, 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 the Smash Bros. veteran, Mr. L, honestly, the creator of... I believe he was the first person to definitely call out for the Arduino mod. Put a lot of players looking for improvement, but nonetheless, he is up against Steamy Noodles here against Richter of one of the characters. Oh. And honestly, Richter <laughs> does not have a lot of fun time with Pikachu, but man, he is getting those excellent angles with the back hair. That's the beauty of Richter, being able to use that whip in about almost about eight directions. You see, uh, Steamy Noodles and Mr. L are seemingly trying to call for the old uh, um, for glory start up with the t mutual taunts and that. that a little messed up to start things off, but here we go, folks. Messed up, yeah, shield there from Steamy. Yes, there are some definitely some matchups for Richter involving rushdown characters. There are hell, but a few matchups feel worse than this. I'd have to imagine. Well, yeah, because Pikachu, honestly, one of the one of the great characters as a whole. Like when I think about one of the best characters in the game. Pikachu is the one character that a lot of people put out there for sure. But for Richter, being sent off stage against this character can be really, really difficult. But so far, Steamy Noodles is doing a really good job recognizing Pikachu's game plan. And honestly, that comes with picking up a character like Richter. You kind of have to understand how you lose matchups, but how to avoid losing in some of those matchups. And that's good stuff on Steamy Noodles. So I actually save that jump before it continuously gets juggled off stage. I feel like the, wor the worst mental thing about Pikachu is, especially if you're in a particularly precarious situation with Pikachu's below you, uh, it's either the back air or just feeling like they're going to call you out with thunder, but back air is all needed there for that first stock. Yeah, and also let's not forget Pikachu's pancaking and low profile. When Pikachu goes for aerials, when is even able to actually move his shift his hurtbox by being able to crouch walk as well, so Mr. L has a lot of tools to actually avoid some of Streaming Noodle's aerials and projectiles as well. No nice grab. carry. Oh. Wow, the upbeat didn't kill on FD, which has a relatively smaller ceiling. A nice thunder there from Mr. L. Yeah, good enough to stop Steamy Noodles in his tracks, but man, Mr. L is taking a train here on Steamy Noodles. Oh, and Lord. just like that, what a play off the stage. I thought the down air was going to do it, but that sneaky up air to steal the stock, that was oh, so choice. Yeah, I put Noodles in such a tough position here. He's been doing good. Uh, been doing a really good job of just being able to hit those angles with back air, but like I said, stopping Pikachu's aggressions is really, really hard because Pikachu's speed overall. But Mr. L definitely being the great veteran that he is, he kind of knows how some matchups like this can definitely go on, and definitely burning that double jump to avoid the holy water and take center stage here with the grab. Excellent play, Neutral L. The grab down. This is really tough for Noodles. Yeah, because it's gonna be the lightning damage. loops. Yeah. Oh, again, just no tech test there. I think Steam might have been able to attack that and survive, but that's just tough when you're just being, you know, steamrolled by Pikachu. <laughs> Yeah, like I, like I said, like it's a, it's a really difficult matchup as a whole for like a Richter, because characters that are rushed down give characters that are zoners a really tough time by design and by default. So Noodles definitely has a lot of like. Uh, a lot of his like work cut out for him specifically. So the one thing I do like from Steamy Noodles in particular is that he is hitting those really good angles to cover up on its low ground approaches or even shorter characters. And that's really crucial. Yeah, I will say that it does seem like Mr. L has a absolute firm bead on the particular ledge trap that their ledge trap uh, selection that Noodles is going for, like specifically like cross axe to holy water you can just see how comfortable he was at ledge timing his recovery right 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 so he might have to mix that up and also mr l did a really good job of using thunder to actually stop record of the holy water and that's also honestly good when you want to come back to the stage as a character like pikachu or just in general the better that you force your opponent to evaluate an option like holding shield or letting go of ledge is really good for you to come back on the stage as, as safe as possible as well. But nonetheless, here, Mr. L looking to keep Richter off the ground and immediately onto the platforms. He's just not letting this man play the game. <laughs> oh, the down air as well. As he should, when you think about like defensive options, the one fear that easily comes to mind is honestly Richter's up special. And at that point, it's still really committal. And if you miss it, you don't have much options. Oh, wow. Oh, man. But sometimes the best, the 
the hardest commitments are the best. Big ass smash from Stevie Noodles to take that first stop from Mr. L. Yeah, and that's kind of one of the strengths that Ricker has as a character, too, being able to stand within those distances and punish his opponents, but also setting up for whiff punishes because he was definitely looking to call Mr. L's recovery onto the stage, especially with uh, Thunder Jolt. Now we have to see what Noodles can do with a lead. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he's not able to keep his distance from Mr. L in that interaction, but here we go. We haven't seen Mr. L use Quick Attack in neutral as much, which is interesting. He might just be pocketing that for later. Yeah, I, I think in this matchup, Mr. L doesn't have to worry about going for Quick Attack too much to get around. Honestly, Pikachu's base speed is good enough to just get around Richter, but the way that we see Mr. L use and consistently use the Nerdult to get Richter is really good because that'll give Mr. L the space to close out the gap between the two. Yeah, you can see Steam is starting to change up some of his ledge trapping tendencies. Yeah, and even like you said, bro, like Mr. L kind of using that Thunder Troll a little bit there to get in and out of Richter's zone and try to bait out something potentially. Oh, speaking of the bait, I'm sorry. That was a really good use of Thunder Troll yeah. and then ultimately just setting things up for, to get that dash tag against Steamy Noodles. t Jolt back here. Billy Pichu just like North Cross. <laughs> like, wee! Go ahead and fly under me. All right, good use of Thunder Jolt. Almost, Mr. L went for the down as a good play, but... Oh, wow. you're up the top? Well, that even worked on Town Ceiling, which amongst the legal stages is actually one of the highest legal stage, but that was very yeah. high in the air. <laughs> it's definitely a spot that Mr. L, or even myself, would have not expected to see it happen, and it's such a stage like Town and City. But so far, like you said, bro, Simi Noodles looking to hold this lead and try to do as much as possible with it. Yeah, Steam is trying to make the case for everybody out there that's struggling to win games against certain characters to work on your advantage state because all you sometimes need are two hits yeah well, well also your recovery that was a really good play from Simi, just avoiding the ledge altogether dodging mr l and using that uppy just to even recover as soon as possible yeah this this particular stage makeup for town and city is why i tend to like it as a stage even if it is relatively speaking a good stage for most characters in the cast because you can mix up your recovery landings the best oh, oh again no 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 yeah, yeah. good day oh. for mr l yeah, getting, getting away from that situation. That was really close, though. Especially with Rage Richter and the way that he had gotten Mr. L. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I, for a second there, like, Steamy could have survived that. Good stuff for Forward Smash, too, because that would have possibly called out Mr. L and how he had gone for Skull Bash all the way towards the stage, especially center stage. Now, here's the, the test for Steamy Noodles. Can you close this out? No, not yet. 113. <laughs> Good play on Steamy Noodles, though. That's going to be a grab to fourth throw. Fourth throw. And yeah. no, not yet. Oh. Even it's on Town's be... side blast zones. What a play, because that was pretty much the good use of cross to go for Axe to be able to bait out Mr. L's recovery and then ultimately get in that holy water to the forward air, knowing that at higher percents, holy water will definitely pop Pikachu upwards and where you can connect forward air instead of forward smash or an angled forward smash in some cases. As a confirm heavy character like Richter, I, I can imagine it could be like so stressful when it's like, oh my god, I, I got three specific high percent confirms in a row. Why will this Pikachu die? But well played by Steamy Noodles to uh, persevere, get that final uh, set up, and take game two. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> if I had told you, like, from the. I've, if I had, would have. You would have told me these two would have been playing going into game three, I would have told you, no, it's going to be a 2 0 for Mr. L, and he's going to, like, uh, pretty much roll up his controller and then wait for the next match. But man, Steamy Noodles. That's why they play the game. Match. Yeah. That's why they play the game. <laughs> oh, FD for game three. That's interesting. Yeah, no platforms. So we'll definitely change up the dynamic. But honestly, for a character like Richter, it's just like how it was on Town and City, he will have space to move around his opponent and definitely look different ways to kind of set up on the recoveries and edge cards as well. See, I like what Steamy is starting to do, which is kind of settling for more. Um, Closer to the stage, lead traps to mix yeah. it up. Oh, okay. oh! So that was the thing we saw from Steamy in game one, right? Where he was always angling those forward airs, those back airs, to perfectly hit Pikachu in those angles where Pikachu would just be normally able to get away. Oh, that was a great Oh, stage there's attack. attack! Wow, what a spot dodge. Steamy right now try to hold on to this lead and maybe try to cause a big upset here on day four of the 2 g smash ladder. Oh man, down smash from Mr. L. Oh, oh. I got him. 
Yeah, Michelle, jump on out. not going to jump for that edge guard, especially when it needs it the most. Steamy Noodles has a little bit of a lead here. I'm working on 39. Is Steamy Noodles is freshly lost stock, so we'll see how much of a lead Noodles can hold this. Great angle forward, and like I said, it's doing an excellent job starting stopping Mr. L in the tracks. But like I said, Richter is able to be in that whiff punish range where our opponents would like to normally get you. Up. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 good DI from Mr. L to avoid the up B from there. <laughs> well, great direction air dodge too to avoid the offstage from Mr. L. You can tell Steamy does not want to be anywhere offstage at this point against Pikachu. Nope. This is a good setup. Oh, close, but great play from Mr. L. Oh. Able to actually Thunder Joe all away from the fire. That was explicit counterplay of some of the traps that Steamy knew was been trying to set up too. Oh, this is bad for Steamy. Oh, we managed to get off ledge. Using uh, holy water to get like more stage control. I like that. Oh, oh. big fair. Yeah, and what a call out there too, especially on Mr. L. Like, at this point, Simi understands Mr. L will take time to set up those Thunder Jolts to, to get me to hold shield or to make a play like so. So if I can call out Mr. L for the play off the stage here, that will be the stock. And so far, Simi looking to possibly cause an upset. There's the opportunity for the grab. Not enough, but this will give Mr. L the center stage. This is really tense, folks. Yeah, 70 on Mr. L. Honestly, a really well-placed Holy Water forward smash can actually do or Mr. L with a corner carry. A double hit on down air. Nice B reversing on the up B there by Steamy Noodles trying to make it so Mr. L can't land, but he does. Gets the grab to fair. Oh, yeah, he's got to watch the recovery. Good stuff using the direction of air dodge, oh. avoiding the second, the other fair. Cross up. Mm. Oh, we got the holy water too at the same time. Mm. Oh man. Mr. L with the play right before even Steamy can get the chance. That was so good for Mr. L because honestly he had called out the holy water. How he had not called if he I'm sorry, he was able to catch the holy water, and that was still either good from Steamy Noodles, because you can tell he wanted to set that up on the stage, yeah. but the starting frames is a little bit too slow, and Pikachu was quick on the draw, giving Mr. L that two-one victory.